best memory of John isn't one of the big important moments. It's the way, it's the expression he would get on his face, the poignant um, dedication he had listening to people tell their stories. He so profoundly believed in human dignity and the importance of protecting and celebrating human dignity that my favorite memory of him is listening to political leaders from an emergent democracy talking about their struggles to try and create positive change or the poignancy of him listening to refugees about all they had had to leave behind or survivors of sexual trauma or depredation. The way that John gave everyone his full attention um, that the dignity of their stories deserved is, the, is my favorite memory of John. I have a couple great memories of John and it's interesting because they're really in two different contexts. Um, my favorite personal memory is walking around the yard in Sedona and listening to John talk about the birds and talk about uh, the people who, who homesteaded that area and the pride that he had in the state, but the love he had for the place and for nature. And that's a side of John McCain that not a lot of people got to see. I also want to talk about John McCain, the statesman. Um, when I first came to the United States Senate, I really wasn't intimidated by any senator with the possible exception of John McCain. I watched how he commanded um, the floor when he was on the floor, but I'll never forget the time that I was presiding in the Senate when Dianne Feinstein, who at the time was the head of the Intel Committee, released the torture report. And many people on the Republican side were appalled and criticizing. And John McCain came down, not a note in his hand, not a, not a prepared speech. And he stood on the floor of the Senate and talked about torture and why torture was wrong. And I'll never forget that. I think it was without a doubt, the most eloquent speech that I ever heard on the floor of the United States Senate. 